and to health care. For the first time, we're hearing from the faculty's side. Former Maricopa County attorney Rick Romley has been retained by Hacienda's board of directors to lead their internal investigation. ABC 15's John Treeweiler live outside Hacienda with a look at Romley and what he will be checking out first. Well, yes, Steve and Katie, the first thing Romley says he wants to do out here, he's going to look at the security, access to the building and the facility. He says he will go down any path this investigation takes him. He says he will unturn any stone that he needs to, actually initially even telling us he didn't even want this job. Rick Romley, former Maricopa County attorney, speaking in front of reporters today, addressing his steps that he will now take looking into Hacienda Healthcare. I will be going in there and I'm going to be looking at the security uh, surrounding the entire facility to make sure that there's no future harm to any of the other patients. Romley saying nothing is off limits. He will go and do whatever he needs to do with no timeline in place. I think my reputation precedes me that I call it as I see it and if not, I walk away. Originally apprehensive about taking this job, Romley said he wasn't going to do it, but now says the board of directors and the new leadership, they've convinced him and he's convinced they want to do right. They want to fix things. They truly do. And I, it began to win me over that I, I began to say, you know what, I think that they really mean business here. Now, as far as that investigation, the Phoenix Police Department is conducting to obviously catch the person responsible for committing this crime. That, we're being told, is still ongoing. We asked the Phoenix Police Department just about every day for an update on the DNA they say they have collected. They have not yet gotten back to us with an update. As far as that baby boy that was born out here as a result of this sexual assault, the victim's family attorney tells us that baby boy is in good care, being cared for by the victim's family. Katie and Steve. Thanks so much, John. Hopefully one of these investigations gives so many families some answers out there. Thanks.